Great. Rolling the shoulders back, tummy in tight. Let's go with our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And working on the deltoids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Weights to the shoulders. Keep that tummy in tight, straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and stretch it out. So come to your tabletop. So tummy in tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are your hydrant pose? Ten. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch it out. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can come to a standing position. And let's do our bicep curls. Oh, well, actually we're gonna bicep curl, drop it, and then raise it above our head. So bicep curl, drop, raise, and circle down. That's one. Curl, drop, raise, circle, two. Curl, drop, raise, circle, three. Curl, drop, raise, circle, four. Curl, drop, raise, circle, five. Curl, drop, raise, circle, six. Curl, drop, raise, Circle seven, last one. Curl, drop, raise, circle eight. So, tricep extension, coming to the table top. Don't forget to squeeze the back of your arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Working on the glutes, extend the leg. Come in tight, squeeze the glutes, point the toes. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Stretch it out. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Stretch it out. And then bicep curls, I'll sit for this. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop the weight and deltoids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Weights to the shoulder, squeeze the shoulder blades together and eight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then just open up the chest by dropping the weights. So hello to Eloise and Diana. Hi, sorry I'm late. <laughs> it's okay. So we are working on the last um, tricep extensions. So let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do um, our glutes, working on our glutes, but we're using, we're going to do it by using our bridge pose. So you might want to give yourself a full body stretch. And then bend the legs. Reach your fingertips to your heels. So they should be touching your heels. Your heels should be um, hip distance apart. And we're just gonna raise up our hips and really squeeze our glutes. We're gonna be raising up 10 times. That's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and last one, eight. Actually, let's go for ten. Nine and ten. Okay, stretch it out. So come to your comfortably seated position. And let's use our bowl to help us come to the present moment. One hand on the heart, the other under the abdomen. Three deep breaths here in through the nose and through the mouth. We're going to continue with some more pranayama. We'll do our Brahmari today. That's our buzzing beat. So breathing in a long, slow inhale through the nose, exhaling slowly um, through the nose, but making that buzzing beat or humming noise in the back of the throat. Um, you can intensify the sensation by plugging your ears. Um, so let's give it a try um, and go at your own pace. So take a deep breath in. Mm. Mm. Take your last deep inhale and exhale. Mm. 
and relax. Place one hand on the head, draw the ear to the shoulder. Come to center, other side. Come to center, let's massage the temples, the cheekbones. The jawline, under the ears, the neck area, working your way down the neck, reach behind them and give your neck a squeeze, and your shoulders a squeeze, and shake it out. Roll your shoulders back, drop your head back, lips together. Come to center, interlace your fingers behind your head, draw your chin into your chest. Come to center, we'll do a seated twist, take a deep breath in, stretch one arm up, exhale, plant it behind you. Bring your other hand outside of the knee. Your back straight, take a deep breath in here. Exhale everything, squeeze and twist slowly and carefully, coming to look over your shoulder, don't over twist. Slowly unwind, take a deep breath at center, stretching up, exhale, pull forward. And back to center, other arm. Deep breath here, stretch up. Exhale, plant the hand behind you. Other hand outside of the knee, keep the back straight. Deep breath here. Exhale, squeeze and twist slowly, carefully. Slowly unwind, deep breath at center, stretching up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to center. Working on the neck, let's drop our chin to our chest and roll the head to one side. And then the other side. One more time on each side. And coming back to center, roll the shoulders. And then change direction. Take one arm, bring it across the chest, draw it in and circle your head. Change direction. Shake it out, other side. Change direction. Shake them out, extend one arm, flip the palm, draw the palm back toward you. Shake it out, other side, extend, flip, draw the palm back. Shake it out, grab an elbow, draw it over to the side. Come to center, grab the other elbow, draw it over. And back to center. So we're going to extend our legs in front of us, cross one leg over the other, and we're going to point and flex our feet here. So point the toes, flex the foot. Point and flex, point and flex. One more time, point and flex and circle. Change direction. Switch legs, 
Point the toes, flex the foot. Point and flex. Point and flex. One more time. Point and flex and circle it. And change direction. And come back to your comfortably seated position. Place your hand on your knees. We're going to do our cat and cow now, right from this position. So taking a deep breath in, push your chest forward, drop your head back, lips together for your cow. Exhale, arch your back, drawing back, tucking the chin in for cat. Inhale, back to cow. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale for your last cow. Exhale for your last cat. And then back to center. So let's get into our tabletop position now. And we'll work on our shoulders. So lock your elbows. Drop your chest towards the mat. Push your chest forward. Bring it up, around, and down. Making that circular motion with your chest again. And one more time. Keep your knees together and drop your hips to one side. And then drop your hips to the other side. And coming to center, I'm gonna work the leg joint right from this position. So raising up your leg to fire hydrant position, draw a circle with your knee when you're working that leg joint. Keep circling it. And then change direction. And then stretch it out in the simple child's pose. Coming back, let's do that on the other side. So fire hydrant position, circle the leg. You're drawing a circle with your knee. And then change direction. And draw it in. Open up your knees as wide as the mat. Sit back on your heels. Extend your arms as far as, as far as they'll go. Fingers open wide. Connect your third eye to the mat. Envision drawing in that beautiful earth energy in through the palms and through your third eye, rippling it through your body until it reaches your toes. And then give your toes a little wiggle. Come back up to tabletop and we're ready for our balancing pose. So extend one leg, extend the opposite arm, flex the foot, push the heel back, stay right there or bring it to a tiger's pose by bending up that leg, reaching out, grabbing the foot and kicking into the hand. And release, stretch it out. And the other side. So from tabletop, extend the opposite leg, its opposite arm. Flex the foot, push the heel back. Stay right there. Or bend up that leg, reach around, grab the foot, kick into the hand. And release, stretch it out in child's pose. Back to table. Up the toes, raise the hips up, coming into downward facing dog and pedal your legs here. Pause and push both heels down towards the mat, tuck the chin in. Look forward, walk or hop to the top of the mat. And come all the way up. Two prayer above the head, two heart center. And then to mountain pose and give it all a shake. 
twist it out. And we're ready to work on our hips. So opening up the legs a little bit more than hip distance apart. Place your hands on your hips. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, fold forward. And now circle. And then you can change direction. And make your way to center. Bring your legs together. Open up the arms and begin to circle. Getting bigger and bigger. And then smaller and smaller. And then pause and stretch, shake it out, twist it out. So let's do our super brain. Taking your left arm, cross it across your chest, grasp your ear, little thumbnail pointing forward, the other arm, the same thing. Place the tongue to the roof of your mouth, keep it there. And we're coming into our chair pose 15 times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, fifteen. Shake it out, twist it out. So we're gonna work on the stomach. <laughs> Let's do our stomach vacuum. Opening up the legs a little bit more than hip distance apart with a little bend in the knees, fingertips behind the ears. Take a deep breath here. Exhale everything. <sighs> Draw the belly button in toward the spine, suck it under the ribs, twist. Don't over twist. You're focusing on keeping the core tight and you're holding your breath. When you need to breathe, stop and shake it out. Twist it out, let's try it again. Little bend in the knees, fingertips behind the ears, deep breath here. Exhale, suck that belly in toward the spine, suck it under the ribs, twist. And breathe when you need to. One more time. We'll bend in the knees, fingertips behind the ears, deep breath here. Exhale. Suck the belly in toward the spine, suck it under the ribs, twist. And shake it out. Twist it up. So today we'll just do a simple sun salutation and then we will learn something new. We'll learn the five Tibetans. So let's stop to uh, step to the top of the mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a deep breath and stretch up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat. Step one like that. And then the other leg back, coming into your high plank. Swivel your elbows so the inside stays forward. Um, if, if high plank is not good for you, you just drop your knee. Shift your body forward and then chaturanga down. From here, you can push up to a low cobra or push up to a full cobra shoulders back or raise your knees off the mat for upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, raise the hips up, coming into your down dog, and pedal your legs here. Pause, push both heels down towards the mat, tuck the chin in. Release your head, give it a shake, take a deep breath in, raise the right leg up, come to the ball of the left foot, swing your right leg forward, and push up into warrior one. Have your back foot a 45 degree angle, front knee over ankle. 
Shift the hips forward, arms up stretched, gazing up. Lift the toes up, plant them down, draw the earth energy in through the feet, up through the core, envision shooting it out through your fingertips to the universe. And then swing your arms behind your back. You can either catch your elbows, or if you prefer, you can make a prayer um, pose with your hands. Straighten up your front leg. Deep breath here. Exhale, fold forward. Keeping your head loose. And then come back up. With the bend back in your leg, come back to warrior one. And then open into your warrior two, change the angle of the back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat, gaze over your front fingertips. Lift your toes up, plant them down. Draw that earth energy in through the feet, up through the core, tuck in the tailbone, suck in the abs. Roll your shoulders back and down, away from the ears. Give your glutes a firm squeeze. Release the glutes. Flip your front palm, so faces up, draw it up, gaze upwards, reverse, warrior. And then rest your forearm on your thigh palm facing up, bring the other arm over the ear, extend the tight angle pose. Come back to your warrior two, straighten out your front leg, deep breath here. Shift forward, come into triangle pose. Think a little deeper. At the waist, pivot into airplane. Continue to pivot into revolve triangle. Come back to airplane. Come back to triangle. Think a little deeper. Flip your front palm so it faces forward, draw it up, gaze upwards, reverse triangle. Cartwheel your arms back down to the mat. Step back into your high plank or drop your knees if you have to. Swivel your elbows so the inside face forward. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, low cobra, full cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedal here. Pause, push both heels down towards the mat. Tuck the chin in. Release your head, give it a shake, take a deep breath in, raise the right leg up, come to the ball of the left foot, swing your left leg, sorry, your left leg forward, and then come up into your warrior one. So front knee over ankle, back foot 45 degree angle, shift your hips forward, arms up, stretch, knees up. Lift your toes up, plant them down. Draw that earth energy in through the feet, up through the core. And then envision shooting it out through your fingertips to the universe. Then swing your arms behind your back. Catch your elbows. You can stay there or you can make a prayer with your hands. And then straighten out your front leg. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, fold forward. And then come back up. Come back into warrior one. Open into warrior two. Change the angle of the back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Your feet come over your front fingers. Lift your toes up, clamp them down. Draw that earth energy in through the feet, up through the core, tuck in the tailbone, suck in the abs. Roll your shoulders back and down away from the ears. Give your glutes a firm squeeze. Release the glutes. Flip your front palm so it faces up. Draw that arm up, gaze upward. Rest that forearm on your thigh, palm facing up, other arm over your ear, extend the side angle pose. Come back to warrior two, straighten out your front leg, deep breath here. Shift forward, come into triangle pose. Think a little deeper. 
at the waist, pivot into airplane pose, then continue to pivot into revolt triangle pose. Come back to airplane, come back to triangle. Sink a little bit. Lift your front palm so it faces forward, draw it up, reverse triangle, gaze upwards. And then step it forward, give it all a shake and a twist. So today we're going to do the five Tibetan rites. Uh, another term for it is the fountain of youth. <laughs> it's all, so it's called the fountain of youth because people swear if you do the five Tibetans every single day, it's going to just grant you with a lot of health and happiness. <laughs> you start your day with the five Tibetans. So the five Tibetans start with three reps. So the first time you do it, you'll do every one of the five three times. But then the fall, and you'll do that every day for a week. The following week, you increase it. So according to your own body, you increase it to what, what you think you can handle. So the next week, maybe you'll increase it just by one more rep. So instead of three reps, it would be four reps. Um, or some people want to like jump to another three. So you might do six reps of each. Um, of the rights, but it, it's up to you. So you, you'll test yourself and see what uh, you can handle. The first one is called the spin. So if you ever took ballet lessons, that would be really great because you will know how to um, stare at one spot as you spin. Uh, so that would be good, but you don't have to do that. It's just a lot harder. It makes you a lot dizzier if you don't do that. So we're going to try to spin um, and, and just, just be careful because you could get a little bit dizzy. And remember, we're spinning three times because this, this is our first time doing it. Um, so you would do that every day three times. And then the next week, you might increase it to four spins or even maybe six spins. So to start off with, we're going to stretch our arms out, palms are facing down. And we're going to spin in a clockwise direction. You will notice that when I spin, I'm going to um, spot. So you, we're going to turn to the right. So it's opposite. You guys are doing the opposite. So look at your right arm, and you're going to be turning in that direction. Um, so for me, I am going to actually stare at a spot in front of me as I turn um, the ballet style just to help me um, have better and not get so dizzy. So let's go. That's one, keep going. That's two. That's three. So from here, we're gonna go, we're going to step one foot forward and place our hands at heart center. Stare at your hands, that's to help you regain at your balance and stop you from being dizzy. Take three deep breaths here. Okay. So that was the first right. The second right is the J. So for the J, we're gonna come down and lie on our back. So we might wanna give ourselves a full body stretch first. Now you might not be able to manage the whole J, so there are modifications to the J. Um, I'll show you the first, first the J, and then I'll show you the modifications of it. So, it's always helpful to tuck your hands under your hips to support you. So the, the first J would look like this. Take a breath in, exhale, and you raise your legs up and your head up at the same time and you flex your feet, that's the first J. But if uh, the J doesn't work for you, if it's too hard, you can just either just raise the head 
or just raise the legs, or just raise one leg and the head, like some combination like that. So we did our one, but let's do two. Inhale as you come down, and one more. And then stretch it out. We're going to take three deep breaths with our arms above our head, come to the toes up. So the next one is camel pose. So it's our regular yoga camel pose. So coming onto the knees, we're going to be on the balls of our feet. So there's two ways of doing it. Usually people place their hands on the back of their thighs. Some people prefer to place their hands on the small of their back. For this, I prefer the back of my thighs. So we're going to be breathing in and dropping back and exhaling, coming forward three times. So breathing in, exhale, again. And now we come into a child's pose. So flatten out the feet. Come into your simple child's pose and breathe deeply three times. So the next pose is called reverse tabletop, which you know it from yoga. So for you, reverse tabletop, and I'll give you the modifications of how everybody can do it. Um, so we come into our staff pose first, plant our hands on either side of our hips, and I'll, I'll show you the, it first, and then I'll show you the modifications. So you will be rocking forward, breathing in and dropping the head back. That's one. Exhale, come back. If that's not good for you, you can just press your hands into the mat and raise your arm there and off the ground. We did one, so let's do two. So rocking forward, raise the hip up, drop the head back. Exhale, coming down. Let's do that again, breathing in. So that's three. So now just come to your full body stretch, pointing the toes, stretching out the arms, and let's take three deep breaths here. And so the last Tibetan is coming into our down dog from an upward facing dog. So, Come onto your belly. And of course, I'll give you the modification here if it's, if it's too difficult for you. So for your up dog, you start an up dog, you tuck the toes, so we keep the toes tucked. And then you push up into an upward facing dog, breathing in. Exhale, push into your down dog. And then you come back. Now, if that's not good for you, you can just bend your legs and come up and do your ta a tabletop movement. So let's try that again. So upward facing dog, exhale down dog. And in inhale up dog, exhale down dog. And then we drop our knees. And we come into our child's pose. Three deep breaths here. And we are done. So congratulations if it's your first time doing the 
five Tibetans. And let's look now for our stretchy bend. You can take a water break if you like. Here. If you have any questions about the five Tibetans at the end, we'll unmute you and you can, we can discuss it. Let me know if you were able to do the full um, pose or if you had to modify. So holding your stretchy band a bit taut, we're gonna breathe in on the upswing. Exhale, come forward. Breathing in. Exhale forward. One more time. Exhale. And we are ready for our tree pose. So, taking a deep breath in, stretch the arms all the way up. Float the arms down. Catch one leg, bring it out to the side. Slide the foot in. Stay right there or raise your foot to your calf or tuck your foot into your thigh. Settling there. When you're ready and steady, pull your branches. Making your mudra anywhere you like. Maybe you can even pull the tummy in tight and squeeze the glutes. And release. Shake it out, lift it out. So the other side, deep breath and stretch up. Both arms down. Catch the other leg, bring it out to the side, slide the foot in. You can stay right there or raise it to your calf or tuck it into your thigh. And when you're settled there, Roll your branches. Make your mudra there or at the center or above the head. And release. Shake it out. Twist it out. So today we're going to do dancer's pose because we haven't done it for a while. So you might need a chair. I always find it handy to have a chair. I'm going to grab my chair right now. So I like to have my chair a little bit more than arm distance length away from me so that when I hold, I can grab the chair. So I'm gonna be facing the chair, but I'll, I'll face you first just so that you can see how it's done. So taking a deep breath in, stretch the arms up, drop one of your arms. So you'll probably wanna do opposite what I'm doing. Then, so I'm gonna be raising up my left leg, it'll be your right leg if you're mimicking me here and me. So catch the inside of the foot. So your hand should be, so the palm is facing up. That way when you reach back, you will grab the inside of the foot. If that's too difficult, then just grab the outside of the foot. Your upper arm can have a mudra in it. That up hand can have a mudra in it. So now I'm just gonna turn and face the chair. So take a deep breath in and then kick back and pull forward. Here it's handy to have that chair to hold onto. 
And that helps you really stretch your leg out. If you think you can do it, release the chair. And then come in and shake it out. Just a bit. So let's do the other side. Take a deep breath, stretch the arms up. Drop the opposite arm, palm facing up, bend up that leg. Reach behind, grab the inside of the foot. If that doesn't work for you, grab the outside of the foot. You can make a mudra with your other hand. I'm just going to turn and face the chair. So taking a deep breath in, exhale, fold forward. You need to grab the chair or so anyway. Gives you a nice stretch. When you feel ready and steady, if you'd like to let go of the chair, let go. And release. Shake it out, twist it out. So we are ready for our moon salutation. Taking a deep breath in, stretch up, grasp one of your wrists and draw over to the side. Knees forward or look up this version of crescent moon. And then come to center. Take a deep breath in, drop the arms and stretching the back up, rest the other wrist, or over to the side, gaze forward or look up. And then back to center, opening to your star. Close your eyes, envision giving the universe a great big hug. Then flip your palms so they face the Sky, drop your head back, work together. You can envision floating up to the sky. And then come back to your star. Place your fingers behind your back. Draw your hands down, opening up the chest, drop the head back, work together. Come back to center. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, pull forward. Draw the arms up above the head. Keep your head in shape. Keep your head loose. Release the arms. Take one hand and bring it outside the opposite leg. Draw the other arm up. Gaze neutral or lift up. And then switch sides. And then come to center, grasp your elbows, drop your head. From the waist, we're gonna sway side to side, seeing if you can get a little lower with each sway. Keep your head loose. Pause in the center, reach behind, grab your calves, draw your chest towards your thumb. And release, take a deep breath in, stretch up to prayer above the head, the heart center. Open up your arms at 90 degree angles. Open your feet, sink into your goddess. Lift your toes up, plant them down, draw that earth energy into the feet, up to the quartz, up in the tailbone, up in the abs. Roll your shoulders back and down, away from the ears, give your glutes a firm squeeze, hold everything tight. And then relax your glutes, hands at heart center, heel toe in a little bit. Sink into your garland pose, resting your elbows against your inner legs to open up the hips. So let's just hold it here for a little bit. And then come all the way down to your rear end, bring your the soles of your feet together, grabbing your feet, back nice and straight. 
and take a deep breath here. Exhale, fold forward, pressing your elbows into your leg. Again, we're um, holding it here to open our hips. Just hold it here for half a minute. And release. So come down to one knee. And just putting my garden pad under me. Stretch the other leg out. Flip the foot up. Push the heel down the mat. Draw the toes toward you. You can stay right here. Or if you would like to come into a bind. Flip that foot down to hold steady, rock back onto the ball of the other foot, drop your shoulder inside your leg, and then reach behind you two for your fingers, coming into that bind. And release. So, other side, drop the other knee. Stretch your opposite leg out. Look Foot up, push the heel down the mat, draw the toes toward you. Hold it here, stretching it out. Such a nice stretch. If you want to take it to the next level, flip that foot down. Rock back onto the ball of the other foot. Rock your shoulder, reach behind you. Catch your fingers. Coming into the line. And release. Come into your staff pose. Take a deep breath here. Stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Reach as far as you can. Hold it there. And release. Tuck your right foot into your left thigh. Support yourself with your left hand. With your right arm, reach up, breathing in. Exhale, full forward, reaching for the outside of the left foot or leg, wherever you can. And release other side. So planting the right hand behind you, breathe in, reaching up the left arm. Exhale, fold forward, reach to the outside of the right leg or foot, wherever you want. And release. Give yourselves a full body stretch. Tuck your hands underneath your hips. We're coming into fish pose. So pointing the toes, come up to your elbows, squeeze your elbows in towards each other, and then drop your head back. You can stay right here or slide back until your head touches the mat. Keep the toes pointed. And then come down. Arms overhead, pointing the toes. And come up for boat pose. So for boat pose, I'm going to grab some extra padding. It's just a mat folded in four to protect my tailbone. You might want to do the same. So from your staff pose, Take your fingers and have them in line with the back of your rear end. And then bend up the legs. You might want to adjust your rear end so that you can tilt back and raise your leg back. And you can stay right here for both. Or stretch your arm out. Or if you want to take it to the final step, open up the arms and straighten out 
leg, but just hold it here as long as you can. And then whenever you're ready, float down and give yourself a full body stretch. So we're gonna do our shoulder stand. So if shoulder stand's not good for you, you'll just come into legs up the wall pose. So tucking your hands under your hips, raise your legs up to legs up the wall position. You can stay right there. It's good for your circulation. Or if you want to come into shoulder stand, swing your legs forward, catch your back, walk your hands down your back, point your toes. You can stay like that, or you can come into plow, or you can bring your toes all the way to the floor or plow. And then roll out. Full body stretch. Roll onto the belly. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do our bow pose today. Mm -hmm. So just bend up the legs, reach behind, grab your feet. And if you can do it, get into your hands. If you like, you can rock up forward and back. And then release. Rest your head on your forearms. Have your feet that distance apart. And then point your toes out. We're going to try and connect our breath here in crocodile pose to the earth energy. So let's take three deep breaths here. And then roll over. Give yourself a full body stretch. So we are ready for our ab work. So take your hands under your hips, raise your legs up, pointing the toes. We're going to lower for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Just cross your legs, five, four, three, two, one. And draw the knees in, rock side to side. Legs back up, lower, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse the legs up and down, five, four, three, two, one. And draw the knees in. Rock side to side, legs back up, lower, five, four, three, two, one, and crisp bend, uh, let's flutter kick here, five, four, three, two, one, and draw the knees, rock side to side. And last time, raise the legs back up, lower five, four, three, two, one. Open, close, five, four, three, two, one. And draw the knees, rock side to side. And we're all done. Give it a full body stretch, arms overhead, pointing the toes. And we're just going to draw our right knee in toward our chest, hold it nice and tight. And then release it, stretch that leg up, interlace your fingers behind that leg, pointing your toes, circle your foot in one direction, change direction. Slide the fingers up the leg, draw your nose toward your knee. Slide back down, bend that leg, cross it over your body. Extend your opposite arm. Fingers at that opposite arm. Good. 
full body stretch. And the other side, so draw the other knee in, tight. Release, stretch it up. Place your fingers behind the knee. Circle it up, one direction. Change direction. Slide the fingers up the leg. Draw your nose to your knee. Slide back down. Cross that knee over the body. Extend your opposite arm. Gaze at that opposite. And release, arms overhead, full body stretch. And now relax your arms on either side of you as it's time for Shavasana. So just envision me placing my hands on your shoulders and applying some pressure to your shoulders. Just press your shoulders into the mat and then release the shoulders. Take a deep Inhale here. Exhale any tension that might be left in your body. Breathing in again, envision breathing in love from the universe. And exhaling your own loving and peaceful vibrations to the world and the universe. Feel your arms and legs melting into the earth. The gravity of the earth pulling your body down towards the center of the earth and your whole body melting in. We're going to stay in this Shavasana for a half a minute, beginning with the energy chart and ending with the Tinshasana. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, hands and feet. Draw your knees into your chest. Give a little rock side to side. Walk into your fetal position. And then push up into your comfortably seated position. So thank you for joining me from my heart to yours. Namaste.